Tonight's rush hour in Manchester. Millions across this region rely on the Northern Rail Firm, but too many find it just plain unreliable. I've actually heard announcements saying that this train is 90 minutes late. Catherine Fern's commute from Wigan should take 40 minutes. Sometimes it's taken three hours. There's not always a train, just an overcrowded bus replacement service. I'm surprised when a train is on time. And I've seen people faint in front of me because it's overcrowded, like it's too hot on the trains. And for safety reasons alone, things need to change. Today, two elected mayors in the north said that last Sunday alone there were 165 unplanned cancellations and that over the last 12 months there were about 28,000 cancelled trains. Over 4,000 services ran with a reduced number of carriages, adding to overcrowding and one in five trains arrived late. A year ago, chaos, overcrowding and cancellations followed an ill-judged timetable change. Today, the mayors of the Manchester and Liverpool area said things have improved so little, they want this rail firm booted off the tracks. We're calling on the government to step in and remove the franchise from Northern, because quite frankly, enough is enough. Things haven't improved for the travelling public, so today we're calling for the ultimate sanction, which is for an operator of last resort to come in and take over that franchise. This is one of our brand new trains that's currently... Instead of old excuses, a new train was Northern's response today, a solid sign of improvement, they claim. We've successfully introduced the timetable last week here, which includes an extra 200 trains a week. But, and but the still, performance but, is still but, good. But still around one in five trains delayed. That's not a, a railway service. That, that's a lottery. No, I don't think it is. So 90% uh, of our trains at the moment are running between 0 and 5 minutes on time or 0 to 5 minutes. And that is uh, on line with the national average. And passengers weren't kept waiting for government's response. It sees no reason to change this rail contract, so it could still run till 2025. Chris Choi, ITV News, Manchester.